Hey y'all, welcome back to this video. Hi, Tech Redneck here. Uh, today I kind of want to talk about my everyday carry bag, which some of the everyday carry essentials that I have, mainly this bag, keys, wallet, paracord, yeah, solar charger, battery bank, flashlight combo. And I also carry a micro USB to USB-C adapter. Everything that you're going to see in this video I have either made or purchased myself with no help from really anybody except for my employer for giving me a paycheck. But let me start off with this. Okay. Purchased this here a couple days or about a week or so ago. It's a 25,000 milliamp. Well, 2,500, yeah, 2,500 milliamp solar charger. I'll put a link in the description below for it. Um, you know, it's nice. You got to, it's a four panel solar charger. Okay. You don't have to use all four panels. You can actually use just the one here on the main battery bank. It has got two USB outputs and one micro USB input for charging it because you can either charge it solar or through your plug-in at your house. So, you press the little power button here on the back, right here. Your indicator lights will show up, you know, how charged it is. Well, I've got three. This one over here show. this one that's not lit up it's right there it lights up green and then you know you got your four over here for your battery and then press and hold kicks up the led flashlight you know now i'm seeing dots you can go there sos press it again you got strobe shut it off press it one more time battery bank will automatically shut off that there with my phone, almost with my phone completely dead, takes about an hour and a half to charge my phone. And I have the S9 Plus. Then, you know, it just I just carry the small stock little charger to come with. I just bought the micro USB adapter here from Walmart. Four bucks. Let's see if I can get there. We go. And now... A little thing and it just literally just pops right onto there plug in your plug it into there and then you plug it into your phone but the good thing is that you can also take that off and charge the charger too now in my pockets i'll go here first before i get into my bag i carry a multi-tool victor onyx and a pack force Spring assisted blade, pocket knife. Legal in my state to carry. And my blade is loose again. Second time today I've had to tighten that up. But um, it's got a window buster, seatbelt cutter, and then you know the knife blade. This one here's got a roller on. Here, I don't know if I'll be able to get it. You just have to take my word for it. But you go like that with it, get it as straight as possible, pinch the two ends together. You have inches on this side here, centimeters on this side over here. Oh, actually, let me see if I can do this with the light off of this. Okay, there you go. Now you can, you can see it's up somewhat. Centimeters on that side, inches on this side. Okay. Pliers, needle nose with wire cutter back here at the back. Close it. You have fish scaler slash kind of serrated knife blade, which is actually pretty sharp. And everything locks. You got to slide down on these two little, you got a tang air on that side and a tang air on this side. Same thing. You just got to pull them both down. You have a Fingernail cleaner. 
Then you got a Phillips head screwdriver. Then you have a pick for like your teeth. Flat, you can also use it for a flat blade screwdriver for the way it's designed. Fingernail file. Flip it over this side. You have saw blade. You have can opener. Can opener screwdriver. Screwdriver. And screwdriver. And then regular knife blade. So those are my two everyday carry knives that are full length blade. And then I got the assortment of paracord bracelets, you know, just a regular cobra weave, regular buckle. This one here is actually elastic. I mean, it's kind of cool. I built that. I, I, I've made all of these myself. And then you got this one here with the survival whistle. And then you got this one here, which is just, I guess, no buckle, quick deploy type deal. Quick deploy buckle. Cobra weave with no buckle. Ammo bracelet. And yes, you can actually take these, slide them clear out, change it in with live ammunition. And it's just got a regular buckle. And then this one here is a Cobra weave. Tactical or survival. I, I'd call this more in the lines of a survival uh, buckle because it's got the knife, compass, whistle, and then your flinch striker to start fires. Or magnesium rod, whatever you want to call it. But that's that I carry. And then I've got all my keys, you know, paracord here, nine foot buckle. My keys, I got a bottle opener. And then I've got a Swiss Army knife here. Which has got a pick right here. Tweezers that never get used. And then it's got the knife, fingernail file. Dang it. There we go, fingernail file, slash screwdriver, and a set of scissors right over here. Tell you how much that knife gets used, it's got pocket linen in it. <clears throat> okay. Now that's all that out of the way, and then, you know, I got my wallet, which is a small minimum, minimal, minimal, minimalist style wallet here. It's got important cards and stuff in it. I've got a uh, multi-tool. I've got a multi-tool style uh, wallet card here. Got all different things on it. And let me tell you, this thing has saved my ass a few times. But now, we'll go into the everyday carry bag. The moment y'all been waiting for. For the whole video here. First half on it, that's, that's what I carry outside of this bag. Now inside of this bag, I've got a fishing kit. I have a first aid kit. And glove, and again, the first aid kit includes gloves, it includes band-aids, it includes alcohol, pads, uh, gauze pads, assortment of different style band-aids, fishing kit, it's, it's got everything in it you'll need from sinkers, hooks, swivels, bobbers, artificial bait, I got a flashlight, takes three triple A's, mechanics light, nice, small, you know, waterproof light. I'm not going to turn it on. It's bright. You'll have to take my word for it. Eight bucks. Bought that. At, actually, at O'Reilly's one day. Carry ink pen and pencil. And then I've got cling wrap ace bandage. And the cool little thing is CD cases. I've, I've literally cut them down, filed everything smooth, sanded it. It's small, thin. And it repurposes everything. Holds that in place. That's all the front pocket. Now this pocket here, it's actually a pencil pouch pocket right there. I actually use that to carry my ham radio. Because I've got the Weather Channel programmed to the ham radio. With that being said, 
you know, you could, you can also, if you have to in a state of emergency, you could use it for comms. But that involves you also getting your FCC license if you technically want to use it. But pretty sure in a shit hit the fan scenario, nobody's really going to care if you have your FCC, your ham operator's license. Now we'll go to the pocket right behind that one. Full first aid kit. No, well, basically more on the lines of minor cut kit. Gloves, Ziploc baggie. So they're waterproof, stay clean. Fishing stringer for if you catch something. The fishing kit I was telling you about. Dryer lint and a Ziploc baggie for fire starting. Then we got the fishing core, the fishing string, and razor blades. Fishing string yet on another piece of CD case that I'd cut down here and wrapped it around there, put it in a hanger piece so it all stays nice, compact, wrapped, wound up, and you're good to go. It don't come unraveled in there. That's everything in that front pocket. So, the fire starter. Everybody uses the dryer. All I did was laid it out flat, mushed it, rolled it, mushed it, rolled it, mushed it, rolled it. So I got all the air out of it. Well, or at least all the air I could possibly get out of it. Because there is still some air that is left in it that I have not been able to get out. But it don't stop me from rolling it up, folding it over, sliding it back down into here. It stays right out of the way, stays dry, stays compact. You never know when you're going to need it. Razor blades go in right in front of it. Fishing string goes right behind the razor blades. Okay. Now the fishing kit. It is it. Yes, it is a full complete fishing kit in a snuff can. You have your handle here that has 30 pound braided Teslon on it. Okay. This here, so you don't have to hold on to the fishing string itself and get your hands cut. You know, if you get a halfway decently sized fish on here, you can still use this here to hold on to it, set your hook. And then if you have to, you can walk backwards or put it around a small tree to pull him in. But I got about a little over a foot of 30 pound test line on here. Which I'm actually going to get out and test this the same time I test my hand line fishing kit that I've got. And that's on a Gatorade bottle. That'll be another video. Let me rewrap that back up. So I can put all this back in there when I'm done. I've got two lures. Two small bobbers. Some of the hooks with sinkers built onto them for your artificial bait, jigs, whatever you want to call them. I've already got some pre-lined hooks here. I can get the glare off of them. So, and then I've got swivels. I've got four of those, and then I got four of these crimp on sinkers in there. Basically, what my whole thought process on this whole scenario was build a small yet versatile fishing kit where it would have everything that you needed to use. And then you know, you catch a fish, you can string them up, stake them there to the edge of the bank. That goes right next to the fire starter. This lays right on top of the fire starter and the fishing kit. Okay. And then in goes the gloves. Right on top of all that. Then you got your first aid kit. Small pad. I'm not gonna pull this out of here, but you have Q-tips right on the outer band of that on wrapping it. You have alcohol pads and then the rest of it's gauze pads on the far outer band here. That's gauze pad. And then you have the band-aids right inside of there. <clears throat> and then in the next pouch pocket, you have got, put that right on top of the gloves, but in the next pouch pocket though, you have electrical tape, signaling mirror, and I've got two boot hangers because you never know if you need to hang up like your clothes or you need to hang up a tarp or something. 
chapstick because it's good to stop if you get a mosquito bite it, it helps stop that the itch if you got a small cut you can put it on there it'll cloth that up then i've got camera lenses for my phone i've got the this one here's got the macro and wide angle i've got the fisheye and i've got a zoom that's just for basically surveillance purposes if you got to take a picture of somebody's license plate a long distance that's why i got the small zoom one in there but i've got electrical tape and a signaling mirror that's that pocket so my everyday carry bag is not what you call ridiculously big it's small compact it's only four inches wide by i believe it's six and a half or seven inches long weighs approximately maybe pound and a half two pounds but you know it gets the job done it does what i need it to do because i travel a lot of areas that have waterways so if i'm out and about and i need to get something to eat while well, i've got the fishing rock the fishing stuff in there if i got to build a fire i got the fire stuff there not only do i have the fire the fire striker piece on here i also carry a lighter in my pocket because i smoke so i can still build a fire the first aid kits for minor cuts scrapes and stuff it's not th something for major stuff that's my bigger first aid kit that i got in my truck it's more on the lines of a trauma kit and then i've also got a way to charge my phone if need be also, it duels, you know, as a flashlight. So not only do I have the flashlight here, I also carry normally an Ozark Trail one wrapped in about nine foot of paracord. So it's got a handle on it that takes three triple A's. I've got my phone and then I've also got that. So I'm carrying roughly, oh yeah, and my ham radio, my little Bofang's got a flashlight on it. So that's roughly five or six flashlights. So, I mean, it de depends on the day and what I'm doing, if I'm going to have more or less. But for everyday carry purposes, like I said, I carry that flashlight. My ham radio is actually on charge right now. With it being wintertime, you know, I listen to the weather radio, so that's what I use for that when I'm here. It goes here. Antenna goes. I take the antenna off, slide it on here, and then I clip the Bofang ham radio right here. But it's got a flashlight on it, so that's one. The regular flashlight. The flashlight I carry in my pocket, so that's three right there the cell phone and then my yeah solar charger so yeah five five flashlights um but if you want me to go more in depth on everything for why i chose that well i mean i guess i can give a little quick little explanation on why i chose this style stuff for the edc was because I'm prone to getting cuts and scrapes no matter what I do, for some reason. You know, so that's that. The fishing deal, you never know when you're going to need that. Because you can use fishing line for other stuff. You can use the fishing hooks for different things. Swivels, you know, whatever. You know, basically this is to make my day-to-day -day life a little easier. If need be. And then, but if you guys like this video, give me a comment on what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Give me a uh, follow and stuff so, you know, you can keep up to date on some of the other videos that I got coming out. Because I'm going to be doing a my bug out bag, 72 hour video, 72 hour bag video, my 24 hour bag video, and my uh, bug out vehicle supply list video i will do a all communications type stuff that i have for that video and get out and do some product testing and some products or some equipment that i've got and stuff just to show you guys how to either use it or maybe teach y'all something y'all didn't know but give me a follow here there'll be a link in the description for everything there'll be a link for you know this the micro USB to USB C thing. There, I'll put a link in there off for this bag, the flashlight. You know, the the Victor Onyx. I'll put you. I'll put a link in there for that, and I'll put a link in there for the paracord stuff because actually I do make it and sell it. So maybe go over there, take a check, look at all that, and 
maybe order something if you want it. But thanks for watching the video. Come back, hopefully watch some more. Give me a like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. You know, if you liked the thumbs down, if you didn't, give me a if you if you didn't like it, leave me a comment on why you didn't like it. If you liked it, give me a comment on why you liked it because I like feedback. And if I can get up to the amount of people where I can do live videos, I will do live videos here. But if but until the time being, I'm going to do the live videos over on Facebook. So give me a follow over there. And we'll get into all that. So yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. If you watched this far, give me a thumbs up, follow, and a like and stuff, and a comment. Follow me on all the other social media platforms that will be posted in the description below with the links. Have a good day, good night, whatever it may be. God bless. Don't do anything too stupid. Stay safe out there.